So we're looking at this arabesque by Mr. Karganov. And uh, right away you can see the key signature has two sharps. What are the two sharps? F and C. F sharp and C sharp. Good. So um, we're going to take a look through the left hand opening patterns. We have a B going to a C sharp. That's the first part of our melody, and you can see that it happens again, right? So you want to make sure that when this melody comes back, you use the same fingerings, because I noticed when you played it for me, it had some really strange fingering going on in that melodic line, and I was thinking, wow, we've played it before, and here it is again. So maybe one of the things we could do is consider writing in a four here. We have those same fingers from the beginning coming back and then again here at the end it happens again right mm -hmm. so really important to get that little part down with good fingerings each time because it happens a bunch so if we move on with the left hand over here um, we've got an F sharp I'm going to this um, A sharp to E which is a diminished fifth so really crunchy sound and then we jump down the octave and we play an F sharp as well. So if you feel like you're hunting for that note, which I kind of watched you do a little bits of hunting around here, you can see we have F sharp, F sharp, and then three of the same chord. You didn't really think too much about the rhythm here, but this rhythm plays a big part in this piece. So we have one and two and three and. One and two and three and. A good? And we have this uh, this with a B chord, B to the D, D. so it's a sort of a minor, B minor sound, one and two and three and, yeah, one and two and three and, one and two and three and, so it's all on those off beats. So here we come back. Uh, we've already had our melody, and now we have something a little bit different, and we have another diminished fifth here, because this is C-sharp, A, down to the A, and then instead of on the Bs, like we had up, up there, this one's on the D. That make sense? Yeah. Yeah? So now we have our octave coming with our grace note. Thumb comes down to C sharp, B, and then. Now you'll notice, can you hear that sound? Yeah. You hear those two notes there? That's because oh, that yeah. D is still holding, right? Okay. And then you have another melody here starting on F sharp. One, two, three, one, two, octave. And then we have a very similar pattern here, except up on the F sharp again. One, two, three, A sharp, one, two, to our F sharp, which is our dominant note, which brings us back to our first idea. And everything in here is a repetition from the beginning. Okay. So I don't think... Uh, that's not exactly what yours sounded like. No. So hopefully this video will help. We'll take a look at the right hand. The right hand's doing real accompanimental stuff here on the off beats. Do you remember the counting I did over here? Yeah. So, wait, where was it? It was over here. So we have one, uh, one and two and three and one and two and three and one. Okay, sharps. Very straightforward melody, again with the off beat, and again moving up. Just the same way the bass moved up from the B up to the D, I think it did. F yeah. sharp to the A and the B to the D. This one's moving up as well. Okay. Make sense? Yep. Uh, here, measure 10. Bottom notes C sharp. 
That's the only black key there, right? Yeah. And here, which I guess is sort of the trickiest part to do, we have two voices moving together. We have a soprano voice, which has the melody line. Do, 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 do. And the alto voices are playing this little accompanimental pattern. Right. So and that's all in one hand. that the left hand copies that melody, oh, yeah. right? And then the right hand does the same thing again, except up a step. third, actually, just like before. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay, so I think this piece now hopefully is a little bit more straightforward. You've got six minutes of video to help you through. Okay, Andrea? Thanks.